I just wanted to um, say that our thoughts and condolences are with uh, Stuart Williams' family. Um, Pondy Breathe Prop, who died suddenly yesterday, um, aged 33, I think. So, uh, just um, on behalf of the, the Welsh Rugby Union and the National Squad, uh, you know, our thoughts and, and prayers are with uh, his family at this um, very, very sad time. I think, uh, as, uh, apart from uh, players that are, have been uh, with the Lions, there's players that are injured. I think we've got a, a reasonably settled squad. We're looking at some, some youngsters. It's a countdown for less than two years before the next World Cup. Uh, we've picked a larger squad, um, you know, part of trying to put out a very strong side against um, South Africa and, and um, Australia and, and Argentina and, and perhaps give you know, one or two of those less experienced players an opportunity in the Tonga game, but mindful that we need to perform well in that game and, uh, um, and, and play well. Corey, we've been watching for a while, particularly with the sevens, and um, he's, ca he's carrying a little bit of a knock at, at the moment. Um, Owen Williams is carrying a bit of a knock as well. So, um, And with Jamie Roberts being out, it's important that, you know, it's a position that we've got some, some strength in, but we need to develop some depth as well. We'll go with Jamie. With well, there's, there's, there's speculation that he may be potentially available for the last game, but um, we've got a few players at the moment that are carrying knocks and injuries, and and uh, you know we just haven't got the personnel for him to come in at the moment for us to to rehab him. You know he's made that decision to go to France, so they can look after him for a while, and uh, um, you know maybe we'll assess him in a few weeks and see how he is. Um, with Alex, he's had some scans. Uh, it's not it's not great. He needs some more scans, and then we can make a final decision on, on him. It looks like there's a bit of a ligament being pulled away, but you know I'm not uh, medically qualified to know how long he's going to be out for. Is there much of a decision to make on the captaincy? I, I guess you, you know fairly early on in, in the summer he would, he would come back in and take over? To be 100% honest, we haven't even spoken about that as a decision, so uh, I, I presume he's captain on there, so... <laughs> uh, I just thought it was a given, to be honest, so we haven't even... You know, when we selected the squad, we didn't even talk about the captain. We just, uh, you know, for, for all of us, it was just a given that he was going to captain the squad. If you look at previous Lions tours, um, France have tended to be the team that have won um, post a Lions tour in the, in the Six Nations, and the nation that's usually heavily represented, you know, tends to struggle, and not because of uh, it's just a, it's just an accumulation of not just the, the last twelve months, but the last. 18 months or two years and so you know, for all of us it's been aware of that and making sure that we manage our um, players really effectively. So, you know, going into that first game, uh, a little bit of trepidation, I, I, I think that the nice thing is that South Africa, um, the information coming to us is they preferred that they would have liked us later in the, the autumn campaign um, and I think it's a sign of respect, uh, particularly with the the, the, the talent in the squad that we have, so you know, there's a chance to get them a little bit cold maybe in, in that first game, but they're always tough, they're always physical. Um, but we've, you know, it's important for us to hit the ground running and, and hopefully we can start the, uh, the autumn off with a you know, good performance and a good result. You know, we've, we've done well in um, campaigns, we've, we've gone on, we've really focused, and you know, whether it's been a World Cup campaign or whether it's been a Six Nations, and, and uh, you know, at times we probably haven't performed uh, as well as we would have liked against some of the, some of the Southern Hemisphere teams. So that's the progression and the development of, the, of a side. And you know, hopefully there's enough experience in this team now to start pushing on and, and to start maybe making an impact on Southern Hemisphere teams over the next couple of years. And so that's, that's a task that's set for us.